Greetings and welcome to RuralVacantLand.com. This is Luke Smith and today I'd like to show you some easy cheap land in Arkansas. So I'm on my website RuralVacantLand.com and I've got this uh, map search feature. So we're going to pull that up to find the property I'm looking for. Um, sometimes it takes a little while to load because there's, there's a bunch of, bunch of properties there but it's starting to come up. And so this property is in Baxter County, Arkansas. If we zoom in to Northern Arkansas, we can go to satellite or uh, street map too. You can see we're in Northern Arkansas, we're in the Ozarks. Here's New Orleans, um, Branson, Missouri, Memphis, Tennessee, Fayetteville, Arkansas, Little Rock, Arkansas is here. So we're north of that. Mountain Home is here. Um, there's a lot of lakes in the area. There's some beautiful rivers. There's the White River comes through here. Lots of brown trout and uh, rainbow trout. Here's, here's the name of the White River. Uh, Buffalo River comes through here. It's just huge parks and nature all over the place. They even have some elk down here. Um, but there's deer, uh, lots of deer hunting, uh, bird watching, trees, trees, trees. So this Norfolk Lake was dammed up um, in the south here. There's a dam, and that river flows down and hooks into, uh, I think it's the Norfolk River, hooks into the White River as well. And so you can go rafting and fishing and all kinds of stuff on these rivers. But the lake has is stocked with fish too, rainbow trout, brown trout, um, even striped bass, uh, largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, crappie, um, bluegill, uh, catfish, carp, all kinds of stuff in this lake. So the property I wanted to talk about today is on this peninsula. It's like sticking out into the lake here. Um, Mountain Home is just not very far away at all. So that's where you get supplies and everything else. Here's Rocky Ridge Road coming out to this property. Got the Crooked Hook Resort, Sunrise Point Resort, um, <clears throat> this is a resort community. Let's go back to satellite images. And so there's roads. This property has some neighbors. Um, looks like some mobile homes in the area and some, some homes, cabins, cars. Um, but you're on the backbone of this peninsula and it looks like you can access the water in multiple directions. You know, walk your dog down and look at the water. So we'll zoom in on the property. And there's there's power lines in here. You can see power lines running through the area. Um, you can see them running along this street. This one looks like it's paved. This one looks like it's dirt. And this property looks like it's in between the, the dirt and the paved um, roads and the trees. So there's trees there and that's that's like a triangle looking property. I think I, I brought up some property lines um, in this software. Yeah, so you get the triangle. Um, this, this data was taken when the leaves are down. So you got County Road 1122 and Rocky Ridge Road where they combine there's a triangle piece of property in between those two roads. So I think you get a lot of access from either side in out. Um, it's easy access and uh, a lot of road frontage and you know, power lines all over the place. So I think it'd be really easy to tap in. The really nice thing about this property above and beyond all those features I've been talking about is the legal description. So if you go to my website and you look at the legal description of this thing, I always try to put the legal descriptions of all these properties on the website. A lot of people just scratch their head and have no idea what, what that stuff means. But this one, um, they're talking about it's, it's a section township range um, kind of stuff. They're not talking about neighborhood this, lot that. Um, when it says 
some name of a neighborhood and some lot, then the neighborhood usually has regulations about what you can do in that neighborhood. You know, can you build a whatever? Um, the neighborhood will tell you what you can and can't do, and you got to go look at the neighborhood regulations. But when there's no neighborhood regulations, I'm not 100% sure there's no neighborhood regulations on this one, but it looks a lot more like there'd be no neighborhood regulations, just looking at the legal description of it. So if that's true, if it doesn't have the neighborhood regulations, then it just has county regulations, and the county doesn't um, regulate as much about what you can do. So from my understanding in Baxter County, you can um, ha move in with an RV. You can live there in an RV while you build a house. You could put in a, uh, um, a mobile home. You can do a lot of that kind of stuff without the neighborhood regulations or the neighborhood starts telling you everything you, you gotta do. So I think that makes this property much more tractable and so I wanna point this one out. And uh, you know, really low taxes, like $10 a year and just just an easy simple one I got directions to like a bunch of mountain home stuff um, gas stations hospitals um, you know grocery stores Home Depot um, post office stuff like that Walmart it's not very far away so you got all kinds of supplies not very far away and really easy regulations and uh, I'm asking $99 a month uh, you know, it's $99 down, 99 a month for 36 months. And if you want to buy it, I've got a, a buy now checkout on the website. You just click on that and you put your title information in there, what name um, you'd like to own the property in, the address you'd like the ta future tax bill sent to, your contact information so I can get in touch with you if I need to ask any more questions or something. And, um, you know, okay, okay, next and put your credit card or debit card in there and um, you, you can start using the property the same day as soon as you check out so that's that's makes it really easy and cheap to buy land um, so that's this property uh, I'll put a link to the actual property um, you know listing on my website below in this video and I also had, uh, I pulled it up in another map, you know, there's Microsoft data versus Google data. And um, yeah, you can see in the Microsoft data that, that road looks, definitely looks paved. And that one looks dirt. And um, you can see the power lines going down the road, power poles, and, and dispersed in this neighborhood. So these people are being fed from the grid, so it should be easy to tap in. I'm sure there's some some equipment around there that the power company could tap into without a whole lot of money. These people figured out water and they figured out you know sewer or septic and they figured all that stuff out so I'm sure you can do it too. Um, Luke Smith with RuralVacantLand.com. Please feel free to go to my website and buy this property if this is the right one for you or look at the others that I have for sale in the area as well. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching and Hope this is the right property for you.